بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس دس از ڈاکٹر محمد شفیق لیکچر آف فلاسفی ڈپارٹمنٹ آف اسلامک اینڈ پاکستان اسٹڈیز کسٹ دا کورس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو دس سیمیسٹر از کالڈ انٹروڈکشن ٹو لاجک دا کورس کوڈ از پی ایچ آئی ون زیرو ون دس از لیکچر نمبر ون before we move on to the topics in logic i would like to discuss certain topics in philosophy as logic is integral part and a very important branch of philosophy so until and unless we don't know anything about philosophy it is not possible to understand what does logic mean hence the first few lectures of our course during this semester would be about philosophy introduction definition of philosophy and later on the branches and different kinds of philosophy So let's start this lecture with the introduction and definition of philosophy. The outline of today's lecture consists upon uh, the introduction of philosophy. Also, why do we need philosophy and how we can do philosophy? So the first question is, what is philosophy? in order to understand why do we need philosophy must we need to understand what is philosophy generally speaking you might have heard the term philosophy in different context during different discussions and during day to day life did you ever wonder what does it exactly mean or what is philosophy generally speaking people think that philosophy is about some abstract things and discussions which have nothing to do with this real world and normally people just shrug their shoulders by saying they are not interested in it because it sounds very abstract and useless and generally the impression of a philosopher is someone with a you know long uncombed hair and very casual and a uh, kind of person who is always thinking and he doesn't understand the real life of ordinary people this is the general impression of philosophy and philosophers in our daily lives but that is not correct that is why i am here to explain what does philosophy mean and why do we need philosophy did you ever wondered what is this life about why we are in this world how this universe operates what are the different sciences teachers what are the different realities and facts in this world also did you ever thought about the purpose of this life why we are here and what is the difference between us and other species what is the meaning of life all such kind of questions do you think life is just about having a wonderful house a nice car a good job and lots of material things around you yeah. obviously a nice mobile phone probably iPhone or Samsung Galaxy something like that 
Do you think life is all about these things? Or do you think there is something beyond these things? For some people when asked what is life, they would say life is something dull because of their experiences, the way they are living their life, lazily. For some, life would mean crisis because they are going through different crises of their life. And on the other hand, for some people, life would mean despair or absurdity or meaningless because they don't have any purpose or goal in life. On the contrary, for some people, life is beautiful, life is meaningful, life is cover colorful. Why? Probably because they are having good experiences in their life. For some people, again, life is disease, it's hunger. Because of the living expenses they cannot afford, the health issues they are going through, probably they cannot afford to pay bills, probably they are struggling to make the ends meet, and perhaps for some people life is meaningless or it's full of despair because of their relations and not working with their counterparts such as girlfriend or wife. Or perhaps for other people it is useless because they cannot find a good job. That basically means that all these impressions of life or about life are based upon different experiences we are going through. And do you know, by asking these questions and answering these questions, we are already doing philosophy. And this is philosophy is all about. It deals with all such things like the purpose of life, the origin of life, perhaps the end of life. In fact, the reality about each and everything. And this is why I would say we need philosophy because philosophy is not only answering these questions but asking these questions itself is philosophy. And when we ask these questions, and when we try to answer these questions, that is how we are basically doing philosophy. So it's not like philosophy is something very abstract, which is far, far away from this real life or ground realities, and just talking about abstract metaphysical things. Philosophy is all about our real life. And that is why we need philosophy. And that is how we do philosophy. So, in order to know how we can do philosophy perfectly or correctly, we need to understand what does philosophy mean. So what is the meaning of philosophy? Basically, philosophy is the combination of two Greek words which are philo and sophie. Philo means love and sophie means wisdom. So basically, philosophy means, the literal meaning of philosophy I would say is love for wisdom or love for knowledge because in Greek language knowledge and wisdom are used interchangeably 
so philosophy literally means love for wisdom or love for knowledge now when we are we are in love with something or someone we basically attempt to acquire that for example if you are passing by in a market perhaps in sadar bazar of peshawar or maybe jinnah super in islamabad and you are passing by a different stores and in a showcase you just see a beautiful shirt which you just fell in love with so what you are going to do will just enter the shop ask for the price and if you can afford it you'll just buy it why because you liked it you fell in love with it so you try to acquire it and similarly when you fall in love with someone you always try to acquire the attention of that person you always try to get in touch with that person in 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 a relationship because you fell in love with that particular person so love for wisdom or love for knowledge would obviously entail all those attempts to acquire knowledge to acquire wisdom so whatever you are doing to acquire knowledge or whatever whatever attempts you are making to be more wise and to get knowledge you are basically doing philosophy that is about the literal meaning of philosophy by the general meaning of philosophy it is said that philosophy is the attempt or the search to know the truth or the reality so obviously these two definitions are interrelated because when you try to acquire knowledge or wisdom you are getting more and more closer to the truth because truth can only be discovered through knowledge and wisdom so the meaning of philosophy is search for the ultimate truth and that truth could be about anything or everything that could be about human beings that could be about any particular object that could be about the universe and even that could be about the creator of universe which normally we call god so all those attempts which we try to get close to the realities or the truth of each and everything in this world are basically philosophy hence philosophy does not mean just reading some philosophical books philosophy is all about our real life about thinking of the reality of the truth of our life and all those things which are related with our lives now the role philosophy plays in our lives is very important in this context if you think perhaps we cannot go anywhere we cannot do anything without philosophy why because we if we do not know the reality of anything we cannot move forward in our lives for example if you want to become a doctor and if you don't know how to become a doctor 
what is the procedure to become a doctor you will never ever be become a doctor because you do not know the exact way or process for that purpose you have to study science you have to do fsc in medical and then you have to pass the test for the medical science uh, the medical college entry test and then you have to pass that and then you have to spend five years perhaps more in a medical college learning about all the aspects of medical science and eventually you have to pass all the exams and tests and afterwards you will be awarded with a piece of paper saying that you have completed your degree which is called bachelor's in medicine and bachelor's in surgery and after that you will be called a doctor so in order to become a doctor the first step you need to take is to know the procedure what is the exact way to become a doctor and then you have to adopt that similarly in your real life in every aspect of your life you need to know the reality you need to know the objective of your life if you want to acquire something if you want to do anything if you want to achieve any purpose any goal in your life you need to know the reality and how to get to that reality you need to know that procedure and only then you will be able to successful so the role of philosophy is very much important because philosophy is very closely related to exposing the reality or truth by acquiring knowledge and wisdom so whatever field we are in we are basically doing philosophy that brings us to another question that what is the nature scope of philosophy as i said that we are basically in any settings of our lives no matter whatever we are doing we are basically doing philosophy if someone who is studying for example english literature they are doing philosophy how because they are trying to acquire the knowledge about english literature similarly if someone is studying plants they are doing botany but actually they are trying to expose one aspect of reality which is related to the plants so the scope of philosophy is quite wide perhaps it covers every single aspect of our life and as philosophy enables us to ponder about basic questions of lives its scope is broader than any other particular branch of knowledge because it is related to every single aspect of our lives even if someone is trying to learn how to make furniture from wood i would call it doing a philosophy why because they are trying to learn the knowledge about how to carve the piece of wood and make it and turn it into a piece of furniture that is also related to knowledge without knowledge you cannot do it so the nature and scope of philosophy the nature of philosophy is related to knowledge and the scope of philosophy would basically mean all the branches of knowledge so it covers the whole life right from the beginning of human being till the end of times if there is any and it includes all 
the aspects of our, of our lives both material and spiritual so the subject matter of philosophy is obviously it is knowledge it is related to knowledge and it is related to reality that is why the scope the nature of philosophy is broader than any other subject because of its subject matter which is reality knowledge and wisdom now this makes it philosophy as a mother of all sciences this is a big claim to make actually that a subject is mother of all sciences i remember one of my in one of my introductory lectures i was talking about philosophy being mother of all sciences one of the students asked me question that sir the teacher of mathematics says that mathematics is mother of sciences while the lecture in sociology says that sociology is mother of social sciences now you are claiming that philosophy is mother of all sciences so what is going on that is quite interesting because i won't say that the mathematician is wrong in saying that mathematics mathematics is mother of natural sciences or a sociologist is wrong in claiming that sociology is mother of all social sciences but if you think deeply you would come to realize that mathematics is about mathematical truths it's about mathematical knowledge and that's correct that without mathematics it's not possible to learn the natural sciences hence it is called the mother of natural sciences similarly sociology covers the social life of human beings it could be economic aspect of human being it could be religious aspect of human being um it could be so on and so forth all those social aspects of human being are covered by sociology because it is the study of society and man being living in society is obviously a part of that but that sociology is basically the knowledge about human being living in a society so it's a mother of social sciences now if you look back i said in the beginning that philosophy is closely related to the reality and its literal meaning says that it is love for wisdom so whether it's wisdom or knowledge about mathematical truths or its knowledge about society or human beings life in social context it's still related to knowledge hence philosophy is the mother of all sciences because because mathematics comes out of philosophy as well as sociology comes out of philosophy so there are different branches of philosophy sorry different branches of knowledge but all those branches are related or trying to acquire knowledge that is why philosophy is called mother of all sciences suppose you are you are doing 
you're doing a degree in physics and you learn you are trying to learn about physical bodies and their relationships and matter and energy right so you are trying to acquire knowledge and philosophy means love for knowledge so it comes in the realm of philosophy although it is particularly focused upon matter and energy but it is still knowledge and that knowledge brings you wisdom and then you are enabled to use that knowledge in the correct manner in order to maybe invent discover different physical truths about matter and energy that makes philosophy very much important it's not because philosophy is my subject that's why i'm just talking about its importance but if you ponder about it, if you look deeply philosophy is related to every single aspect of our of our lives and that is why it makes philosophy most important branch of knowledge or maybe most important subject because every single subject or every single branch of knowledge branches out from philosophy so there is no escape from philosophy we cannot escape from philosophy because we are thinking species we are different from other species we have been blessed with the intellect and the requirement of intellect the need of intellect is to use it and intellect can be used to acquire knowledge to learn skills and to get close to the reality that is why philosophy is very much important for us and now i will take you back to the first thing when we were saying that why do we need philosophy and how do we do philosophy so perhaps you might have understood by now that why do we need philosophy because if we want to learn about the reality which is basically the sole purpose of human being which makes human being different or which gives a upper hand to human being upon all other species and that is why we need philosophy that is why philosophy is important if we want to to be called human beings then we need philosophy because the the, the, the speciality of human being is intellect and using intellect means you are acquiring knowledge and that is what does philosophy do so philosophy is very much important perhaps uh, this introductory lecture would have interested you towards philosophy and i hope you will learn more and more as we move on in order to know about this philosophy there are certain books i have recommended and these books are easily available online and uh, in our library so you need to consult these books and also you're always welcome to get in touch with me uh, through email or whatsapp group you can ask me questions whatever is in your mind that is what basically philosophy do and that is what philosophers need we need to ask questions if we don't ask questions we will never learn so i hope to hear from you soon and till next lecture i would say stay safe and god bless you thank you and allah hafiz